said after last week's game that, you know, it is what it is. We can't get it back. Um, but I want all of you to take something from this. So after you watched film and digested it, what are you taking from last week? Yeah, that's a, that's a hard one to digest. Uh, tough, loss, tough loss like that. But um, what he mentioned, our first meeting back, and what has kind of stuck with me is every little thing matters. Uh, it's the little things that will get you beat in this league. Um, everybody's got the talent around, so if you uh, mess up a few plays, give up some explosive plays, then it changes the whole game around. So uh, the little details, I would say 100%. Can't give up those explosive plays. Got to tackle in space better. Um, just every single little detail. If we're supposed to start behind the line, we better not be touching the line. Like little things like that. Seen your most productive game. Is that a sign that you have your comfort level? You kind of figured out this defense. Or? Uh, yeah, I would say I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just stepping through things and feeling a little bit more confident day by day. Um, but making plays definitely helps. My confidence has gone, gone up, and it did uh, throughout the game. Um, so that helps, um, and that'll only continue to build as reps continue um, to go. Is your vision and anticipation is that is that just something you have inherently, or is that a product of film studies? A little bit of both. Like, where does that come from? Um, is that is that kind of what you saw? Like the vision? And, it just seems like you're in the right place <laughs> at the right time. All the time. <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's that happens all the time. Um, I would say film study helps, um, but. It's it's all vision. Your, your eyes, putting your eyes in the right spot, definitely helps a, helps a bunch. You have visual keys and different tendencies that help out with everything like that. So as much as you can open your eyes as possible and see the whole picture, um, I feel like that helps me out a little bit. Uh, but then again, uh, I played I played a good game, but um, it's it's the little things uh, that helps me there, and um, you just got to continue to build from that. Do you not feel like those are aspects of your game? Like I, yeah, I, I do. Yeah. I, I do see that. Um, but and like I said, I think uh, film study helps with that, and my vision, opening my eyes and seeing the full picture definitely helps uh, playing fast. On those chunk plays, when you guys watched it the next day, can you, could you identify sort of what went wrong on all of them? And like, what kinds of things was it that that became problematic? Yeah, uh, definitely. When you get these big chunk plays, and it's third and fifteen plus, the, the, the last thing you want to happen is them to keep the drive going. And I think um, everybody was in solid spots. Um, I just think that missed, the missed tackles and um, guys getting dri driven off the ball to create big open areas and, and holes to run through, that definitely hurts. Um, but I would say the missed tackles and, and pursuit to the ball, um, guys kind of overrunning the ball and not tracking that near hip, uh, definitely hurts. hurts. But um, yeah, you, we got to tackle in space better. We can't give up anything like that. Was everything you saw fixable? Yes, 100%. Everything on film we see is fixable. Um, it's all about communication and, and technique, and we're, we're putting our eyes. I, I think everything is fixable. How do you fix tackling in space? That's not something that you can easily replicate at practice. Right. right. Yeah. Um, we well, don't tackle uh, with your body. Uh, you tackle with your eyes. Um, you got to put your eyes in the right spot. I think a lot of the times, when you're in space, your eyes kind of go up in the body and they can mess around with you. They can give you that shimmy or whatever and all of a sudden your eyes are going in circles. But uh, looking at that near hip, because hips don't lie, some people say, so <laughs> look at that and then it'll, t it'll tell you where to go. But it's easier, obviously easier said than done. I mean, that's one of the hardest things about football is tackling in space. It is so hard. Um, but that angle and that pursuit and where you put your eyes are definitely uh, how you help that. Does Barkley pass that maybe as well as anybody, that ability to yeah. tackle in space? He, yeah, he's tough. He, he's really tough, and he obviously showed that. Uh, he looked very healthy, very healthy co coming back from his injury. Uh, he's definitely one of the toughest. What stands out about the quarterback football? I think he, he's a tough player. He's very tough. He keeps the plays alive. Um, if he doesn't see something, he's looking to scramble and, and keep the play alive. He finds his receivers well. He's played well so far, doesn't give the ball. Uh, over that much, not a lot of turnovers, um, but very competitive, uh, tough guy, and will keep things going, and, and uh, very a big contributor for uh, uh, Washington's offense. All right, what was the message last week with the yo-yos? What did you take from that? <laughs> uh, the yo-yos. I remember we got there on Monday, and uh, I had a yo-yo sitting on my locker. I was kind of messing with it, you know, playing some tricks, walking the dog, all that stuff, but. Um, you gotta gotta stay consistent. You can't go up and down and be all over the place. You gotta stay consistent. 
Um, when everybody tells you you're so great on defense, don't listen to that. Don't listen to that because um, in s situations like this, we don't play well, and then all of a sudden it's flip flop. So stay consistent uh, with everything you do, and don't have that up and down path. You still have your yo-yo with you? Do you have any I, it's, I think it's back in my locker. I, I think it is. Yeah. You, you're pretty good with that thing. I can walk the dog. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can walk the dog. I think guys are trying to do some tricks, but I mean, back in my days, I was I was pretty good. Um, do you, uh, as de defensive players, do you talk about sacks? Is that a topic of discussion, or is it not a stat that's necessarily indicative of an effective defense? Yeah, I wouldn't say specifically about sacks, but 100%, we got to get pressure on the quarterback, and I think that's something that we've lacked a little bit on. Um, we got to get to the quarterback and pressure the quarterback more. Um, because affecting that um, eliminates every other aspect. I think that's um, something definitely that we always talk about is pressure on the quarterback. Yes. So when you look at the quarterbacks that you've played, uh, some of them, are, a couple of them move pretty well at least. I mean, yeah. Aaron Rodgers is known for moving, obviously, Jones did. Um, yeah. Does that figure in, do you think, to the sack numbers? or? Um, I, there's definitely a different game plan that goes into every quarterback we see. Some that we got to control the pocket a lot more than others. Um, guys that don't really move around much, we're not really necessarily worried about the whole contain aspect of just trying to get up the middle and, 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 and rush and disrupt some things. Um, but then there's guys that you got to keep contained, like this quarterback, because uh, he'll move around, he'll extend and make, make big plays. Uh, so it all depends on what we're seeing from the quarterback and his tendencies, the way that we're, we're going to try and come after him. Would you agree that the, or would you say that the pressure wasn't good enough this past week? I would agree. Yes, I would agree. Uh, it's definitely been an emphasis um, today, and an emphasis throughout this week is getting pressure to the quarterback. Um, the, but the ball comes out quick, um, so I felt like our rushes were there. It's just got to be that one step closer to affect, get that hand up, and, and affect where the quarterback's going. How do you guys combat that quick game? Like when they kind of go to that. Like neutralized pass rush, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, it's it's tough um, with the quick game because, I mean, in some situations, there, there's nothing really you can do. Right. Um, but in, in certain situations, you see the quick game, you try to get your hands up and, and disrupt the ball. Um, but again, your eyes, you know, reading the quarterback, seeing that quick game so you can get one step closer to making a play in the ball. What was your first experience playing in the Superdome like? Yeah, obviously, you got the crowd there. Yeah. It was awesome. It was a great, great experience. The crowd was jumping. Uh, it was, it was definitely an awesome first experience.